My biggest frustration so far is the fact that uh, this society has not been willing to take some basic steps to, uh, to keep guns out of the hands of uh, you know, people who you know, can, uh, can do just unbelievable damage. We're the, only society, we're the only developed country on earth where this happens. And it happens now once a week. And it's a one day story. There's no place else like this. A couple of decades ago, Australia had a mass shooting, mm -hmm. uh, similar to Columbine or, or Newtown. Uh, and Australia just said, well, that's it. We're not doing, we're not seeing that again. Yeah. And uh, basically imposed very severe, tough uh, gun laws, and they've never, they haven't had a mass shooting since. I mean, we, our levels of gun violence are off the charts. There's no advanced developed country on earth that would put up with this. Now, we have a, a different tradition. We have a Second Amendment. We have uh, historically uh, respected gun rights. I respect gun rights. But the idea that, for example, we couldn't even get a background check bill in to make sure that if you're going to buy a weapon, you have to yeah. actually go through a fairly rigorous process so that we know who you are, so that you can't just walk up to a store and uh, buy a semi-automatic weapon. Um, it, it makes no sense. And, and I don't know if, if, if anybody saw the, uh, the, the brief press conference from the, the father of the young man who had been killed at Santa Barbara. And as a father myself, I, I just I could not understand the pain he must be going through. And just the, 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 the primal scream that, that he gave out, why, are, why aren't we doing something about this? And I will tell you that I have been in Washington for a while now, uh, and most things don't surprise me. The fact that, that, that 26 year olds were gunned down in the most violent fashion possible, and this town couldn't do anything about it, was stunning to me. The question then becomes what can we do about mm -hmm. it? The, the only thing that's going to change is, is public opinion. If public opinion does not demand change in Congress, it will not change. We have, I've initiated over 20 executive actions to try to tighten up some of the rules mm -hmm. and the laws. But the bottom line is, is that uh, we don't have enough tools right now uh, to really uh, make as big of a dent as we need to. A lot of people will say that, you know, well, there's a mental health problem. You know, it's, it's, it's not a gun problem. You know, the United States it, uh, does not have uh, a monopoly on, on crazy people. It's not the only country that has uh, uh, psychosis. Um, and yet, we kill each other in these, uh, in, in these uh, mass shootings at rates uh, that, that are exponentially higher than any place else. Well, what's the difference? The difference is, is that these guys can stack up a bunch of ammunition mm -hmm. in their houses, uh, and, and that's sort of par for the course. So the country has to do some soul searching about this. This is becoming the norm. I am prepared to work with anybody, including uh, responsible uh, sportsmen and, and, and gun owners, uh, to craft some, some solutions. But right now, uh, it's, it's not even possible to get uh, even the mildest yeah. uh, restrictions through Congress. And, and that's, uh, we should be ashamed of that. So the country has to do some soul searching about this. This is becoming the norm. Most members of Congress, and I have to say to some degree this is bipartisan, are terrified of the NRA. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the, the combination of you know, the NRA and gun manufacturers uh, are very well financed uh, and, and have the capacity to move votes mm -hmm. in local elections and congressional elections. And so if you're running for office right now, that's where you feel the heat. And people on the other side may be generally favorable towards things like background checks and other common sense rules, but they're not as motivated. So that's not, that doesn't end up being the issue that a lot of you vote on. 